using NetBeans, then after that, please take down the program, right? Then I will uh, write the next program, right? Uh, that is uh, two factors in lowercase, right? Then lines for that. After that, uh, after running the program, please, uh, I will enter the coding lines for that. Then uh, I will add a program to compare the two strings, right? This, uh, Compa comparing two strings is done by the compare to method. Right? Then uh, this, uh, I will write the next program to compare given two strings. Right? Uh, this time uh, I have declared an integer variable called as result. I am going to compare the two strings. Then uh, that's why it's declared as an integer. If word one is equal to word two, then we can display a statement. Otherwise, we can display another statement. In that case, uh, I can get the assistance of if, right? Then you can, uh, it will display the message, word one is more than word two. Right, because first word is having A, A-P-E, then second word is having A, right? E is having a higher priority over P, right? Therefore, it is uh, displaying the message as Sorry, what is the display message? Word one less than word two, right? Word less, word one less than word two. Right, E is uh, coming before the letter P, right? That's why it is uh, displaying the message in this manner. You have to compare the word one with word two. Then, uh, therefore, uh, depending on the Unicode system, this uh, result is generating, right? Then, uh, according to that, the relevant message is display, displayed by the program. Right, uh, please take down this program. Now, in this case, uh, you don't have to take down the whole program again. I hope that uh, you haven't closed the uh, last two brackets. Then you can continue with the same previous program and enter these coding lines to the same previous program. When we use uh, this type of a program, Java considers uh, the hexadecimal values of each and every. Actually, when uh, comparing the two strings, uh, Java considers the hexadecimal values of each and every character, right? Now you can see that when I am not using this editor, this uh, connection problem never arises, right? This, uh, that's what I told you that when I am uh, using these editors and some separate Software so it gives me a lot of problems. Anyway, I have to conduct these lectures. Uh, if what we were talking about this uh, thing, uh, what is called as uh, hexadecimal characters, right? Hexadecimal value is considered by the uh, Java program and it will generate the appropriate message based on that. When we compare the letter E and letter P, A, the, both, uh, in both words, first two characters are same, right? But uh, when, it com when we move on to the third character, you can find the difference. The letter E's hexadecimal value is 
lower than letter P. Right? That's why the word 1 is less than word 2 comes as the output. Right? Then uh, again I will share this uh, editor with you. If you haven't finished taking down the program, please uh, take down it quickly. If you have finished taking down the program, then uh, I will uh, move on to the next method that is about index of. Right? Then I will write a separate uh, program for that purpose. Right. This is the program written to uh, get the index of the letter L. <clears throat> the word is given as elephant and it is uh, stored in animal, right? String variable uh, animal. Then after that I will uh, save the program and run, run it. Right, then it will uh, give you the result as 1 because uh, the counting starts from the position 0. Right? Then the L is in the second position according to the indexes, then it uh, takes the value 1. Right? Please take down uh, these coding lines. Right, I think uh, the given time is uh, sufficient to take down you this uh, program. Anyway, I'll be start writing a program for the substring, right? Substring is actually a part of the string, right? If you can uh, split the string into several sections, then uh, that splitted section can be called as a substring, right? Then I will write a separate pro program to split out the string into substring, right? Then again, I'll be sharing the NetBeans IDE with you. Right. Uh, then I have started from zero position, then counted three positions from there. Then uh, using that method, I can extract the words. Please take down these coding lines. If I want to extract the word Lanka, then how? Uh, what is the method of doing that? Can someone answer the question? In my program, I have extracted the word three, right? Now I am asking how to extract the word Lanka from the given country name. Why uh, no one is talking? Now I am uh, giving you uh, 
a clear uh, question right already i have now tell me have you finished taking down the program only two lines or three lines were there clear any were there if not please tell me no answer right yes uh then uh, now uh, if you have finished taking down please answer my question how what is the method of extracting or uh, obtaining the substring lanka from the uh, given word sri lanka substring 4 uh, into 9 Oh, into nine. Mm. Anyway, you have to exactly count the number of uh, letters in the word, right? Then uh, the best method is finding the position of the let uh, space, right? After that, you can count the words, or else uh, finding the position of L and uh, count the numbers, right? Zero. Uh, Zero. Then uh, zero, one, two, three, four. Uh, zero to three, right? I think uh, you have to count the words from five, right? Because fourth position is obtained by the space. Then uh, fifth one will be the lanka, right? You can write a simple program and check this, right? in my program i have shown you how to extract the word three then uh, you have to write a few you have to do a few modifications to extract the word lanka right is it clear if not please tell me right now you can see this zoom software is uh, given specially to conduct the meetings right not to teach everything anyway we are have to do it showing a powerpoint presentation using this zoom is not a task for that but uh, when uh, when uh, sharing the things like net beans it creates lot of unnecessary problems right then the next task is to write a program to uh, sort the strings right we can uh, use strings in arrays then we'll see how to sort it right i will give you the program right please uh, give me few seconds then i will uh, directly uh, give you the program to sort the string sort a string array right and uh, i have declared the string array and i have used this array dot sort now you can see this array is always getting a problem so you have to import java dot util dot arrays to your program right go to the top of your code then say after entering that line i can go down and check whether still check whether still the underlining is there right now it has disappeared then after that uh, i will save the program and run it
right then uh, likewise you can sort sort a string array using this arrays dot sort method right please uh, take down this program as well i hope now you have finished taking down the program we'll uh, stop sharing the screen now huh? then if you have uh, any problems you can ask now if there are no problems then i will stop the recording right uh, if you have any questions regarding this module uh, please ask now right uh, please don't send messages the lecture the person who is conducting the lectures is not having signals right please understand this netbeans is a heavy weight uh, uh, software and uh, please don't consider it as my fault or this uh, router's fault right because uh, last week uh, when i am conducting one lecture i found that students are actually they don't have the experience of hosting the software uh, hosting the meetings then they uh, feel that this is a problem with the router right anyway it's uh, due to the heavy weightage of the software right please understand this uh, zoom is dedicated for the meetings but i am using it to teach the programming right therefore Uh, from my side also i am facing problems when uh, this uh, this uh, connection failure is there but uh, both parties have to bear with this please take that into mind right mera mona prashna thiyena na ahan bala then there is another thing uh, i have to conduct this uh, one uh, lecture is already missed about the data structures and algorithms can you remember that three part i have to conduct right shall i start it just after finishing this uh, meeting any comments from your side mona hari kiya kavathi the shall we finish that as well Okay, Miss. All right. Then, uh, because of the recording purposes, I will end this meeting. But uh, you can log in to the same meeting. Uh, please give me five minutes time. Uh, yes, five minutes time, right? Then I will end the meeting for all. Then please uh, log in to the same meeting, right? as the second step recursively traverse right substring then finally visit the root node i believe then this is the example please take down this uh, three and the results of the traverses I think uh, now you have finished taking down this uh, diagram and the results of traversing, right? If so, then I will stop sharing the screen. Right? Then I will stop sharing the screen now. Right. 
uh, that's about the tree data structure. Then uh, what do you have to do is uh, you have to do the practicals. Then uh, I will send you the uh, the presentations which I have prepared. I will email you. But I can't. But I can't email you the shown example. Right? That's why I gave you to. That's why I have given you time to share with uh, take down that right. Then uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can uh, ask. If there are no questions, I will stop the recording. One of Prashanti and about the data structures and algorithms module. Then with that, I have uh, completed the discussion of the data structures and algorithms. Some of the uh, data structures I have discussed with you in the physical classroom, right? Then rest of the things I have discussed with you online, right? I can see only three, 33 students are here. Anyway, my part is over, right? Then I will uh, stop the discussion for today because you don't have any questions regarding this. Right, I will end this meeting.